In this video, we are going to learn about arithmetic series. So we haven't talked about series before. This is new for us. So we're going to start by talking about what is a series. So we've been doing sequences, and a sequence is a list of terms. So one, two, three, four, five, all separated by commas. Now a series is what you get when you take all of the terms in your sequence and you add them together. So a series is the sum of the terms in a sequence. So you'll notice there are three examples down below, and you'll notice all of them have addition signs in between to show that the terms are being added. Right? So a series is simply just what you get when you add together all the terms in a sequence. So an arithmetic series is a series where you're going to take an arithmetic series and add up all of their terms. So an arithmetic series is the sum of the terms in an arithmetic sequence. So what is an arithmetic sequence again? That's a sequence where we are adding or subtracting by the same number every time to get the next term in the sequence. So something like 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 would work because every time here we're going up by 2. Okay, or we could do 100 plus 90 plus 80 plus 70 where every time we are subtracting 10. So an arithmetic sequence is one where you're adding or subtracting by the same amount every time. And a series is what you get when you add all of those numbers together. Now, you were supposed to watch the, vo the video about Carl Friedrich Gauss, so hopefully you've done that. And if you haven't, you might want to go back and do that before we do this part. So what we're going to do is just write down a little bit about his method for how to add together the numbers from 1 to 100. So what he did was he took the first number and the last number and added them together to get 101. And then he added together the next two numbers to get 101. And he kept pairing them up into pairs that added to 101. And he discovered that if there's 100 numbers, there would be 50 pairs. So to find the sum of all of these, you would take 50 times 101 to get 5,050. Now what we want to do is see if we can take what he's done and expand that into some type of a formula. So 50 is half the number of terms. So there's 100 terms in the series, right? From 1 to 100, there's 100 numbers there. So 50 is half the number of terms. So I'm actually going to write that in words here. So we have half the number of terms. That's where that 50 came from. Where did that 101 come from? Well, in this case, you could say we added the 1 and the 100, or the 2 and the 99, or the 3 and the 98. But it's easiest for us to say that we've taken the 1, which is the first term, and the 100, which is the last term, and we've added them together. So this is times what you get when you take the first term and the last term and add them together. And that's going to give us our sum. So I'm going to write out a formula for Gauss. So we're going to say the sum. So we're going to use the letter S for sum. And just like we did with term, we're going to put a subscript on it. I'm going to do S n, so the sum of the first n terms, is going to be half the number of terms. Now in all of our formulas we've done so far, we, use, we have used n to represent the number of terms, and half of that we're just going to divide it by 2. And then that's going to be times the first term. The first term would be term 1, or we can use the letter a. We're going to save that for our explicit formula. And the last term would be Tn, right? So if we were doing 10 terms, it would be term 10. Or 100 terms, it would be term 100. 
and we just add those together. So this is one of the formulas that we can use to calculate the sum of an arithmetic series. Now there is another we can do, um, which is something we call an explicit formula where we just use n in the formula and no other letters. Um, and to do that, we're going to take what we've done here and see if we can expand it using the formulas that we've been using so far. So I'm just going to recopy down Sn equals n over 2 times T1 plus Tn. So I like the n over 2. That's okay. The T1 and the Tn I'd like to replace with the other letters that we've been using. So I'm going to say Sn, sum of the first n numbers, is n divided by 2. Now term 1 is the first term. And in our other formula for arithmetic sequences, we use the letter A to represent term 1. And when we did arithmetic sequences, we said there was a formula that we could use where Tn was A plus N minus 1 times D. So what I'm going to do here is instead of term 1, I'm going to put in A plus n minus 1 times d. And then I'm just going to collect the two a's together. And I get 2a plus n minus 1 times d. And this is just an alternate formula, another way of calculating um, the sum of the terms in an arithmetic series. Uh, one of them is to use what we call Gauss's formula, where you add the first and last term and multiply it by half the number of terms. And the other one we're going to call our explicit formula, where I say the sum is n divided by 2, so the number of half the number of terms, times 2a, so 2 times the first term, plus n minus 1, times D, which is our common difference. So these are just the same letters that we used when we did our formula for a sequence. And it's better for us, this is the way the textbook does it. So sometimes we'll use this formula, sometimes we'll use this formula. It just depends on the question. We will do some examples in the next video where we talk about how to decide which one to use.